Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on Comic Book Hall number four, we're going to be taking a look at the X Men family of comic books. Uh, these are different X team or X individuals who have their own comics. First and foremost, we have X Force Annual number one, Shattershot Part Four. Uh, on the front cover, it looks like you've got Shatterstar, uh, you got Cannonball, you got Sunspot. I believe that's Magic down there, and I'm not sure who the other guy is. Up next, we have X Men number 16, Death Knell. Uh, you got X Men Nate Gray there on the cover uh, with Holocaust, the son of Apocalypse during the Age of Apocalypse. Uh, I always really liked X Men. Uh, I liked his look. I didn't get to read many of his comics, but the ones I did read, I really enjoyed. And I also really liked Holocaust as a villain. Uh, up next, we have Excalibur, number 103, the all-new, all-different Shadowcat, Colossus, and Nightcrawler. Uh, this is from November of 1996, direct edition. Uh, very cool. I really like the look of Nightcrawler on the cover. He's got the long hair, devil horns, uh, his flaming sword. Very nice. Now we have Excalibur number 97 from May of 1996. The new Nightcrawler center stage. A tale of harpoons and heretics. Uh, I didn't ever, I didn't realize there was a new Nightcrawler. I thought it was always just one Nightcrawler. Kurt Wagner. But I don't. I haven't read this yet, so we'll see. And finally, we have uh, this one was kind of a disappointment. I haven't read it yet, but I've flipped through it. I thought for sure it was going to have a reprint of Giant Size X Men number one uh, because of the front cover. Uh, this is Marvel Comics Digest first issue starring the X Men. Uh, you would think because of the front cover being the way it was, uh, it would have a reprint of Giant Size X-Men number one inside. Uh, I read the story as a kid. Uh, I got one of those little books from the uh, book fair or whatever. It just had uh, one scene every couple of pages, and then the rest it was written up like a, no um, a junior novel. I really enjoyed it. It's pretty much what kind of got me into X-Men in the first place. This it just pretty much retells the original X-Men stories and one new X-Men story, or new X-Men team story, uh, which was really, disappointment, really disappointing. Uh, if they're not going to include Giant Size X-Men number one reprinted in the pages, they should not put Giant Size X-Men number one's cover on the front. Um, this is actually fairly new. It was... Released in February of this year. It's got, as I said, it's got reprintings of old X-Men comics. As well as the X-Men First Class comics. Uh, you got an issue of Marvel Adventures Spider-Man. And then you've got Wolverine First Class as well. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. But still, I would have really liked to see... A reprint of Giant Size X-Men number one. Um, I'd like to read it again, you know. Uh, really great story. Uh, it's when the origin, the first class of X-Men uh, is trapped and Professor Xavier is forced to assemble a new team of X-Men to go after them. And that's when Nightcrawler, Colossus, Wolverine, uh, Banshee, Storm, and Warpath all joined the X-Men. So anyway, there you have it, guys, in this week's comic book haul. Uh, I believe it's comic book haul number four, the X family of comics. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, my friends.